Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where we are going to be putting on our lab coats and breaking out the petri dishes as we once again start mixing and matching some different genes. And of course, right now, uh, I promise, I promise there are actually genes and there is actually genetic information you can get out of bones. But right now, we are working with a little bit more of a magical tone to celebrate that more autumnal time of year. And we have another dog skeleton! It has been a while since we've had a dog skeleton. Recently, we had a skeleton cat show up. That was quite an interesting experience. And now we are quite lucky because of hope the skeleton dog has been found. And we love the skeleton dogs because they are a mystery! I mean, other than the fact that they're walking, barking skeletons who can end up having puppies with other dogs, but still, they're a mystery because I have no idea what type of dog this is. I have no idea what color it is, I have no idea what it looks like, what its facial features are like, all of those things are hidden away in its genes, and when we found and created the skeleton dog, I made sure to cover up everything on the screen, so it's complete mystery to me. Other than the fact that this is a small dog, which I realized when Hope, our skeleton dog here, was dug up by Potato! What a name! Sweet Potato Empress, when you came up and I needed a name for our big boy Labrador Potato, I just had to name him Potato. So, Potato the Labrador. Behold, my friends! Potato the Labrador is quite friendly, he's very adventurous, and he's a little bit of a troublemaker. So he was actually following his nose and digging up his favorite treat, bones. And this time, he happened to dig up some very special bones, when what did he find? But hump! The skeleton dog! And when I saw how big Potato is compared to Hope, I realized that Hope is a small dog, so that is very exciting. And that means that we might have some really intriguing and very interesting different genes that Hope might be hiding away uh, that we might see with her puppies with Potato! With a little bit of science magic, we're going to go ahead and mix these genes together. And we're going to let Potato have puppies with the love of his life, a pile of bones. No offense, Hope. It's a high compliment from him. So this is going to be really fun. A total mystery. It's time to go ahead and get going. Uh, I love the idea that Potato just loves bones so much that the love of his life ended up being a skeleton dog that he dug up in a very questionable yard that he was visiting. And let's see what their little pups will be like tumbling out of a little abandoned dog house that they found in order to have those puppies and revealing for the first time, exactly what might be hiding in Hope's jeans. All right, let's do this. <gasps> green! <laughs> okay, we had green on our skeleton cat. Maybe it's moss? Maybe like there's something about the skeleton animals ending up with randomly getting the color green? That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is actually going to be named random after randomness. Randomness have we had over the years uh, that we have been together. One of the animals named after you already because that is really exciting. Look at that guy. Or look at her. So this is random. Um, she is vocal, stubborn, and adventurous, and she's apparently green and white, which might be Hope's colors. And we'll take a peek at Hope's coloration when we actually are able to, um, gosh, that's really hilarious. But we'll take a peek at Hope's coloration when we actually finish up with all of the puppies. But it, I mean, green! Maybe it's moss and, and just like decay and growth. Who knows? All right, randomness. We'll see what you grow up into and what kind of facial features you might have inherited, either from your potato father, the Labrador, or from your bony mother. And let's go ahead and pull up a, another baby. And this little one. Oh, look how cute! <laughs> this one is going to be a unicorn after baby unicorn. There we go. We'll have little unicorn. Ironic that you didn't actually end up being one of our unicorn mixes, but there's always a chance for next time. And unicorn, you're a glutton who is a couch potato and very playful. That sounds so freaking cute. I think you're going to end up being most mostly like your lab dad, but we'll see how things go. And then this little one, we'll go ahead and mix with hope. Oh, another one! This is gonna be Camilla! 
Camilla, welcome, oh, welcome. Oh gosh, I love the colorations. We're having little mini potatoes. <gasps> the spud puppies, I love it. So Camilla, you are a troublemaker who is smart and aggressive. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I wonder if she enjoys chewing up bones. I mean, we have like a little potato group now, which is just precious. All right, what other colorations might be hiding in Hope's jeans? Oh, this is actually like Hope's pattern and uh, I think Hope's like fur. So I think Hope has maybe? No, no, no. I actually think this is potatoes fur. So the other puppies are so fluffy because Hope's fluffy. <gasps> Hope must have been fluffy as a, a living dog. And Potato has the smoother Labrador fur that this little one, Lizzie, just inherited. Welcome, Lizzie. Those demon eyes are really strong in the genetics for some reason. Uh, but Lizzie, you are a friendly sleuth who's a couch potato. Do you get it? Couch potato? Because your dad's potato. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and have the next round. And this is actually going to be <gasps> fluffy little baby Ellie. Ellie, welcome, welcome. I love the fluff. I'm kind of shocked. I mean, it's really cool that we got a green puppy and then a bunch of little spud potato puppies, but I really want to see what else Hope might have. Um, okay, uh, there we go. And Ellie, you are a troublemaker who is aggressive and a sleuth. Maybe you guys are very defensive about any little graveyards that your mother might like to rest in. And I, I mean, when we grow them up, we'll be able to see what our mystery skeleton dog's facial features look like because all the puppies kind of look the same. But I'm really curious, like, what is one last coloration we can get from Hope? I really, I want to see. Let me pull up the last name. And this, ooh, I think this is from Hope's line. And this is actually going to be Cat. Cat, welcome. Cat, the, the skeleton Labrador dog. I love it. Cat, you can't give milk or fur, but you can be a smart couch potato <laughs> who uh, is vocal. So welcome, cat. Gosh, you're so fluffy. Okay, so now that we have had a little pile of potatoes and one very green pup, let's go ahead and grow everyone up, see what they look like, and then we will reveal Hope the Skeleton Dog's genetics. All right, Random, you're up first. My jaw, like, hit my desk. <laughs> Random, what? <laughs> okay, I didn't expect this. Random's ears have vanished into his fur. I think, like, look, you can't even find the ears on that. Have you guys ever seen a dog that is so fluffy you can't even find its ears? I, I kind of want to look at, like, some really fluffy Pomeranian pictures now. But Random, look at you. So Random, I, I am impressed at the greenery and the sheer fluffitude. This is a much fluffier dog than I was expecting, and he actually is much bigger than Potato, which is really ironic because his, his mother was a very small dog. So I'm very curious about what Hope actually has now. And I think the facial features? I mean, he's so fluffy, it's really hard to even get an idea of what the jaw and the other facial features might look like. So let's see what we have with Unicorn. Maybe Unicorn can reveal more of the genes that mom is hiding. <gasps> Tiny! Whoa, tiny eyes. Unicorn, how did you get such tiny eyes? Is mom like a Pomeranian mix? What? Do we have like a Pom mix? Okay, this is this is getting exciting. Unicorn, you're kind of adorable. You really look like a potato, actually. <laughs> we have potato puppies. Camilla, you are up next, my dear. <gasps> look at the face. Okay, mom must have a very short snout, but that's not a Pomeranian snout. So the mystery of what mom, who is a purebred of some variety, could be is still out there and I need you guys to help me figure it out. The only thing that's not purebred on mom's coloration, on the mom's genes are that I randomized the color. Uh, I don't think I even randomized the pattern. I might have randomized the pattern. Okay, so we've got to look at the facial features and the structures, which are getting really interesting. I love our little potatoes to try to figure out what mom's species could be or her breed of dog. So I need you guys help on that. Lizzie, are you gonna be a big Labrador like your dad? <coughs> well, I wouldn't call that a Labrador, but that gives us even more clue into what mom might be. What do you guys think? A small pit maybe? 
Huh. We're gonna have to figure it out, but welcome, Lizzie. You look like you're also going to defend what kind of little graveyard or wherever the bones are uh, with your family. And then we've got little Ellie up next. Oh, oh Ellie! <laughs> Okay, I'm a sucker for these tiny potato puppies, you guys. They're just so cute. They're a little spud crew. Look at them. Look at them. And they're so different. We've got big fluffy ears. We have got tiny pointy ears. We have itty bitty itty bitty eyes and snout. Like there is a big range even on our tiny dogs. All right, and let's go ahead and see what cat is going to be. Oh, oh. Big fluffy oh. dog. Okay. This was exciting. This was very different. Look at the size of that snout. We have a huge range of different snouts on all of these dogs. A huge range of different coloration. Or, well, of di well, I mean, green is a very huge range of coloration, if you ask me. And just everything looks super, super different than I was expecting. And I love that we had tiny potato puppies that Potato can watch over. All right, Hope. It is time to reveal what Hope actually looks like under that skeleton, my friends. And she's really cute. She's really cute. So this is what Hope would have looked like if she was not a skeleton. I bet she probably had like a curly tail. All right. Is this a Pomeranian? Maybe? Was Hope a Pomeranian? Who knows? Who knows? I need your guys' input on what breed you think Hope was when she was still alive. But I have to say, she makes a very excellent skeleton, and I love that she hid so many different genes that we got to kind of stumble on when it was time to have puppies. But all right, so Potato has found the love of his life in a wonderful pile of bones, and he has many little spud puppies that are going to be following him around and hopefully taking good care of wherever they go to dig things up. And this was quite delightful. So if you guys could, do please leave some comments with more suggestions of different animal mixing and matching breeds we could do. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!